Autodesk Vault automated release and change process. Vault makes it easy to manage engineering change orders through the intuitive graphical workflow that helps automate the process. In this example, managers, designers, and manufacturing will work together to execute a controlled release and revision of a product design. Each participant plays a role and serve a function in the process. And, as in many organizations, some individuals serve more than one role. The process is outlined here and organized by individual and their tasks. The design-centric release management process starts with the assignment of items for a product design. Items are easily created for a design and all of its components with a right click. Selecting the Bill of Materials tab reveals a comprehensive list of the items associated with the design. Saving the Bill of Materials creates items for those items which don't yet have them. A quick review reveals a primary revision and a work in progress state. Changing an item from work in progress to released commits the revision, locks the associated design files, and prompts for an effectivity date. The web client provides access, view, search, print, and markup capabilities for released items without requiring CAD software. Drilling down on an item provides further information on a specific design and its drawing. Design documents may be marked up using the provided annotation tools built specifically for this purpose. Markup features make the markup process fast, easy, and clear. Once markups are made, they can be printed or saved, then distributed for review or change request. A saved markup can easily be added to the vault and attached to an engineering change order to simplify the communication of an issue. Autodesk Vault provides effective and efficient management and tracking of all document types. A new change order can be initiated against a design using the New Change Order right-click menu command. A change order number is assigned. You provide a change order title, description, and due date. The primary design item is automatically referenced in the change order. Supporting documents are automatically referenced and additional documents can be attached. In this case, the markup provided. Change order participants are assigned using flexible change order routings. Decision makers and stakeholders have authority to process change orders through the workflow in the most appropriate and efficient way. Notifications are provided to the responsible participants via enterprise email, in the vault work list, and notification bubble. Change order progress is monitored, notifications are sent, reports generated, and comments made to keep the process moving forward. Once a change order is deemed valid and progresses to a point that designs need to be changed, designers have the authority to edit the change order. This authority allows designers to attach additional items impacted by the changes and change their life cycle state to work in progress. At this point, the system automatically accomplishes a preliminary revision bump and removes the locks on the design documents in preparation for checkout and editing. Using the open command provided in Vault launches the appropriate CAD application allowing the designer to accomplish both the checkout and the edits. As edits to design files and their supporting documents are initiated, the checkout process creates new versions of the edited files and gives the designer ownership, keeping others from overriding their work. As edits are completed, the design documents are saved and checked back in. Vault then updates and captures the document version history.
engineering work groups can easily communicate, collaborate, and share work on designs as the departmental workload or project delivery dates require. As product top-level design and associated documentation edits are undertaken, these documents are also checked out, creating new document versions. As the design and supporting documentation edits are completed, the work is saved and checked back into Vault, which additionally updates and stores document version history. The change order is then submitted to the appropriate lifecycle state, in this case, review. Notification of the pending work is made to the appropriate team member. The review process in Vault is facilitated by the collection and tracking of all associated documentation and progress by the change order process. As such, changes are easily verified, correct, and complete against the original request and move forward in the workflow. Once changes are verified complete, a final approval is given. A date the change will become effective is set and the change order is closed. This commits the preliminary revision and re-releases the design documents. And the system makes the revised design documents available on the specified effectivity date. The Vault web client can then be utilized to access the updated design documentation and review or print as desired. Design teams can choose standard or configurable processes for release and engineering change order management, helping them avoid costly mistakes and remove process bottlenecks.